Hi riding buddies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've sat in front of this camera. The last time I did was eight months ago. I was vlogging Camden, which was actually amazing. Um, so if you guys haven't checked that video out, please feel free to. I'm actually hoping to upload a little bit more frequently now that we are kind of in lockdown. Um, how's everybody going? I know this is taking such a toll on a lot of people in lots of different ways and um, it's just absolutely crazy but in these times you know we just need to come together and you know look after ourselves which ends up looking after everybody else in times like these. And during all of this spare time that I've had I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and one video that popped up the other day was um, Sophie's or Pony on Wheels videos. I'm a huge fan of Sophie's. I love her videos. I think she deserves a lot more um, subscribers than she has. She, she's, she's so entertaining to watch. She's so relatable. Um, but she did a video where she went through her equines first aid kit and updated her kit. So that's actually what I'm planning on doing. I'm, I've gone shopping and I brought things that I haven't had and things that I have needed. So I um, have got quite a lot to show you guys. I'm going to also show you guys my current kit. I keep my kit in a toolbox um, from Bunnings. I'll show you guys that a bit later. But um, I will say that I have quite a lot of injectable items. And I not in any way, shape or form, I'm not telling anybody how to treat their horse's wounds. If you have an issue, nursing, I'm study studying vet nursing and it's currently going really, really well. Um, in COVID, we're still doing our, our video links and stuff, it's a bit crazy. But I do have a little bit more veterinary knowledge and where I live, we have one local um, equine clinic, but they also cover domestic animals, so your dogs and your cats. And of a night time or public holidays, etc., etc., they only have one vet on at a time. And because they do cover all different types of animals and emergency situations, it can be very, very, very hard to get a vet. With that said, into the video. All right, guys, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of everything I have to show you guys. So I placed two orders with um, two different companies. I used Equine Performance and I've also gone through Equine Veterinary First Aid and they were freaking amazing. Super, super helpful came with like a little personal note which I will focus on in a second but this is an overview I've got these because I've got a little bit of a project that I want to do with my um, toolbox if it works and I have some like contact paper some self-adhesive contact paper but yeah I will just get it to focus a little bit better and yeah one thing I needed to add to my first aid kit was some hand sanitizer hand sanitizer is really hard to get a hold of at the moment pandemic um, but I had some of this in my car. There's not much in there, but there is enough. And I will be adding that into my first aid kit. Um, from the first order was Equine Veterinary First Aid. I'll show you guys what I got from them. So I got these vet wraps. I got a pack of six. Um, very inexpensive, surprisingly, for the company. Um, super fast delivery. Um, and things are actually quite... Um, cheap compared to going to somewhere like Horseland or something. I've got these surgical scrubs. So these um, are surgical grade, um, like an antiseptic scrub. Um, they have like a sponge on one side, a little bit more of a, a rubbery material on the other. So they are really good for um, cleaning out wounds for your horse. I got some more um, cotton wool roll, wool roll. Um, this is good to have for cuts and stuff and I also got bandage pads and um, gelinet and um, you know just pads for the wound itself I got some eye wash I don't know if you guys can see I got this um, solution to two bottles of eye wash um, that's convenient to have if I ever have an eye injury I got some scalpel blades, a thermometer, and a pair of really good scissors. Now, scissors are something that you do need to have on hand um, quite often. 
but I got probably 10 scalpel blades thermometer and a of scissors in there or a different one. Some really good scissors. So they just are in there. Now everything from Equine Performance came in these bags, which was super great. I mean, probably not ideal for the environment, but for packaging and postage purposes, they have been nothing but great. So that's really good. Um, I got an antiseptic cream because I needed a new one, although I do have a pot, but it's not really sanitary. And I'll show you guys that in my um, first aid kit tour. I bought also from the same company some sterile water that weighs about, I think it's 750 mils. I got a Benadine antiseptic solution. I needed another one of these. I used up my last one. A couple of things I decided to add to my first aid kit has been a head torch and some water-based lubricant. Um, obviously, they both kind of speak for themselves. And if um, with a lubricant, if it's safe enough for human genitals, it's definitely safe enough for horses. So in the equine performance order, I got some um, elastoplast bandages. I needed some of them. They're great to put over vet wrap and keep the bandage in place. Yeah, second order was from Equine Performance Horses. I think that's the company name. I will have everything linked, if I can, down below, where I picked up a very much needed stethoscope. Now, this is super, 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 super important to have in your first aid kit. Please, guys, please check your horse's temperatures, pulse, and heart rate before an emergency so you know what is normal for your horse. Struggle a little bit here to show you guys, but that's what my stethoscope looks like. I'm so impressed with it, um, and that is going straight into my kit. Also from them, I picked up 10, I'm pretty sure the 10 mil syringes. Nope, I lied to you guys. Packed like a huge lot of 20 mil syringes. These are the most convenient size I personally find when it comes to having horses, good for butte, sulprum, um, sulfur tea, etc., etc. I also picked up some injectable vitamin C. Now, why do I have vitamin C injections, you might ask. Because, guys, I mentioned to you that we can be so far away from a vet, vitamin C can help with venom, snake bites, etc. But do your research Speak to your veterinarian before injecting anything. Consult with your veterinarian. But these can be so, these can potentially save your horse's life. There is no scientific proof that I, that I know of, I could be wrong, but a lot of people have used it for, um, to inject their horses that have had snake bites before a vet has arrived and it has helped neutralize the poison. So that's why I have two in there because they do take a rather big dosage weighing horses and it needs to be given quite frequently until you can get anti-venom. So this is the toolbox guys that I keep my first aid supplies in. This is just from Bunnings here in Australia but any toolbox would do the same thing. As you can see my little crafty project was quite successful. I managed to secure a first aid symbol to the top of my toolbox. I'm going to tell you what's inside my little first aid kit now. So in the top left corner I keep gloves, I keep gloves at easy access and also more sterile gloves. Uh, just below the gloves I keep some uh, hand sanitizer uh, and below the hand sanitizer I keep some bandage tape just so I can secure bandages if I need to a little bit better. And just in the middle bottom section, I keep all my uh, syringes. I keep 10 mil and 20 mil just at the front here. Now up to the top of the toolbox, I keep some hydration and electrolyte stuff. This is more for the cows that we do sometimes have on the property, um, but it's good for dogs and horses and that. It's just pretty much a hydrolyte and I also keep some gauze next to the hydrolyte too, just so I can have easy access to it if I need to. And in this little container with the pink lid, I keep quite a lot of sharps and blades. This is just to obviously keep things more hygienic and there's no accidental needle stick injuries or anything. So they live in there when I'm not using them. Here's the most unusual thing I have in my first K kit. I always have tampons on me. I mean, common sense 
you guys could probably understand why. And here at the front I have some eye wash or some saline solution uh, just in case I, like I said, I had an eye injury. They're right there and to the right of them I keep alcohol swabs. So if I inject I can just quickly wipe uh, the area before I prick them with a needle. So in this section is where I keep all my bandaging items. I keep bandage pads, I keep bat wrap, I keep a gauze roll and I also keep elastic adhesive bandages uh, just to finish the job off and keep the wrap in place. Uh, the sec next section down is actually draw in the drawer. I keep two pairs of scissors, one tub of scissors and one more bandage scissors. I keep a thermometer, I keep my scalpel blades, I keep my antiseptic scrubs, I keep my vitamin C injectables, I also keep my gauze and I also keep a head torch. Now I think the head torch is super super important to have in your kit because you don't know what's going to happen and if it's at night time and you might be, you know, dressing a bandage in the dark or dealing with an injured horse in the dark if you have a blackout or something. So it's always good to have in your kit. Now in the bottom part of the section of my toolbox, this is where I keep the majority of my ointments and sprays and things like that. In this jug, I have a lice, flea and tick treatment, um, which you dilute with water, hence why that sits in the cup. I then also have a, a bottle of recharge. This is electrolyte and rehydration concentrate for horses. I also have some pink eye treatment. I also carry some baby powder for uh, bandage changes and bandage wraps. Um, that helps to prevent sores. I also have more betadine antiseptic liquid spray. I also have some NTR Protec. This is good for greasy heel and mud rot. I also have NRG Nonos. This is pretty much zinc for horses. <laughs> um, I always carry that in my first aid kit. I also carry a Citrogen. This is a um, antiseptic spray. I also carry some of the Neocort. This is for burns or scabs. I also carry another antiseptic ointment called White Healer. That's really good as well. Um, my water-based lubricant also sits in this section. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Here is my sterile water that lives in the bottom of my first aid kit. I also have some yellow lotion. This is for proud flesh. Um, that's a good one to have on hand. Um, some more betadine solution. Um, always good to have. Uh, there's some Domazo. Uh, this is good for splints and things. And I always carry some tough rock poultice. Well, that is everything that I keep in my horse's first aid kit, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my social medias, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!